Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Today we will discuss about ICON mission. ICON mission. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, as ICON mission. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, has launched a satellite ICON to detect dynamic zones of Earth's ionosphere. The Satellite Ionosphere Connection Explorer, ICON, was launched from an aircraft over the Atlantic Ocean near the Florida coast. Understanding NASA's ICON Mission Ionospheric Connection Explorer The Ionospheric Connection Explorer studies the frontier of space, the dynamic zone high in our atmosphere where terrestrial weather from below meets space weather above. In this region, the tenuous gases are anything but quiet, as a mix of neutral and charged particles travel through in giant winds. These winds can change on a wide variety of time scales due to Earth's seasons, the day's heating and cooling, and incoming bursts of radiation from the sun. This region of space and its changes have practical repercussions, Given our ever-increasing reliance on technology, this is the area through which radio communications and GPS signals travel. Variations there can result in distortions or even complete disruption of signals. In order to understand this complicated region of near-Earth space, called the Ionosphere, NASA has developed the ICON mission. To understand what drives variability in the ionosphere requires a careful look at a complicated system that is driven by both terrestrial and space weather. ICON helps determine the physics of our space environment and pave the way for mitigating its effects on our technology, communications systems and society. What is ICON mission is about? The ICON satellite will study the Earth's ionosphere. It includes various layers of the uppermost atmosphere where free electrons flow freely. The ICON mission is the 39th successful launch and satellite deployment by Pegasus rocket. This mission is operated by the University of California. It was originally planned to launch in late 2017 but delayed due to the problems with the Pegasus XL rocket. It is equipped with 780-watt solar arrays to power the instruments. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.